story tonight at 6. Bibb County school officials are making, stu making sure student and staff safety is a top priority, starting with increased security measures at one school in the county. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes has more on why they say the precautions they're taking are necessary. Michael, with effects of the Parkland school massacre still looming, the Bibb County School District is taking action and in installing metal detectors at schools, starting with Westside High School. The goal is bringing that feeling of safety back to the school building. I'm very concerned of my students' safety out of school, but I want to make sure that they are safe in school. Westside High School principal Julia Danley says when it comes to the possible threat of weapons in her building, She's all for doing the most, as her students would say. I do the most for them, and I don't want to go to a, another funeral. I don't want to bury any more kids. I want them to go through this life and have longevity of life. And so it is my role as their leader to protect life. With permission from the school district, she's taking a proactive approach to protecting life by installing metal detectors at Westside. When students arrive in the morning, they will uh, go through metal detectors at the, uh, all the entrances for students. It's a part of a pilot program to bring back that feeling of safety at school after several recent threats from students to schools right here in Middle Georgia. I'm very concerned um, at, with the heightened um, issues of violence in schools and and just knowing what's happening in our current community. Director of Risk Management David Gowan says it's one less anxiety students will have to worry about on top of tests and quizzes. As part of our strategic plan we want to provide a safe learning environment uh, for them because we do feel like students learn better when they do feel safe in their schools. Once officials test the program out there they'll decide whether they want to expand to other schools in the district. Gowan says random searches of students is also a part of the pilot program. Searches will be conducted by school administrators with resource officers there just in case they find anything alarming. Michael? Well, the district already owns several metal detectors that are used during a large sporting event, so they aren't buying new ones, just repurposing those.